Hi everyone, today on CodeByte we will look into dynamic variables in PHP or how we can use variable variables. If you are new around here, consider subscribing. I make weekly videos of electronics, code and general making and I'm sure you'll find something of interest. In PHP we are all allowed to name a variable with the content of another variable. These are called variable variables and can be used at any point in the code execution. Let's look into a few examples on how we can use them. In the first example, we have a variable called foo with the content of bar and a variable bar with the content of sum. To create or reference a dynamic variable, we will use the content of the foo variable and by adding an extra dollar sign, we will theoretically reference the bar variable. If we now look into the output, we can see that the content of the bar variable is printed. The second example is a more practical one, where we first have a list of key value pairs. We can then loop through all of them and use a variable variable to extract each of the array keys as its own variable. When that is done, we can reference and print each of the keys directly with the new variables created. This approach is very handy in situations where we need to print such variables in the HTML content. The interesting thing with variable variables is that we are not limited to one level of reference. We can reference the content through multiple levels as in the third example. The output of this code will be 5 because each of the dollar signs references the content of the next variable. In some cases where we use variable variables, we can have a more complex expression, so the two dollar signs one next to each other is not really readable. We can, however, use angle brackets to distinguish where pieces are. Additionally, when printing such variable in a string, we must use the angle brackets to let PHP know that we are using variable variables. If we don't do that, the extra dollar sign will be printed as content regularly. In example 4, we are printing the same thing twice, first with the angle brackets notation and then with the variable variable created. In example 5, we are demonstrating that the name of the variable variable can be generated with any logic that we might come up with and to let PHP know to create it we must use the angle bracket notation. Here the string concatenation will first be evaluated and the resulting value will be used as a variable name overriding the value that we initially set. When using complex expressions with variable variables, there are some differences in the execution flow in PHP 5 and PHP 7 that we need to be aware of. In PHP 7, all expressions are evaluated strictly left to right, where in PHP 5 the evaluation was mixed. In case 1, the old behavior was that the entire expression was evaluated and then used as a name for the variable, where in PHP 7 the content of the full variable is used. Similarly, in all of the other cases, the dynamic variable is evaluated first before continuing with the rest of the expression. I hope that this video was interesting for you and that you managed to learn something out of it. To learn more in the future, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and check out some of my other videos. Cheers!